All I need is someone who make me want to see. Take me to your heart. Take me to your soul. Give me your hand before I'm... This is Nit, a blind orphan in Cambodia. He had a hard start at life like many other children in this country. Cambodia is a source, transit and destination for child trafficking. The traffickers, usually organised crime syndicates, in some cases exploit children for the perverted sexual appetite of pedophiles and sex tourists. Well remembers when her mother sold her. At just seven years old, a stranger came to the village and bought her for just a few dollars. She was then beaten, starved, and forced into a begging ring along with other gaunt and broken children. They burned her face with a blowtorch to make her look more appealing as a beggar. Um, she lost an eye and an ear and horrible um, facial burns. She still wasn't getting her quota in her tin. So one night the car just didn't pick her up. WA-born Geraldine Cox is the creator of Sunrise Children's Village, an orphanage in Cambodia. She rescued Wow, giving her a new lease of life with care, support, and most importantly, love. When I was flying on the plane with her, we took her to Hong Kong to have an ear operation, to have an ear put in. And on the plane, she said to me, Mum, why, does, why doesn't my real mother take care of me like you do? Why doesn't my real mother do this? What do you say? Some children are sold by their own parents, while others are lured by what they think a job offers or opportunities for an education. Many orphanages have been known to abuse its orphans, some of which are illegally adopted to foreigners or sold to pimps. I had this idealistic view of orphanages until I was asked to go and work undercover in some orphanages that aren't doing great work, that are selling their children for sex, that are abusing their children physically, emotionally, um, and unfortunately selling them and trafficking them overseas to first world countries. That's Troy Roberts, director of Raw Impact, a charity that hosts web platforms raising awareness of this multi-billion dollar crime and business. When these kids are being adopted for $40,000 a pop, that is a very lucrative economy when you're, when you're adopting out 10, 20, 30 kids a month. In 2007, the Royal Cambodian Government was placed on a watch list for not complying with the minimum standards of human rights. Since, adoption in Cambodia was made illegal. However, the Ministry of Social Affairs is now looking to legalise adoption as early as this year. Geraldine Cox. Before they banned adoptions here, people were selling their babies for six dollars to an adoption ring. Troy Roberts has his concerns. If you open the gate to adoption, you are opening the gate to trafficking in an unregulated system. Pimps imprison young virgins and present them to a series of bidders, such as high-ranking military officers, politicians, businessmen and foreign tourists. I've seen a five-year-old girl in the process of what they call a viewing, where a male was viewing this girl right out in the open to determine whether he wanted to use her services with two pimps there on the spot. In 2006, several police officials were convicted for trafficking-related corruption charges and the former deputy director of the Police Anti-Human Trafficking and Juvenile Protection Department was sentenced to five years for trafficking charges. When you've got a country that suffers with corruption up to its highest levels, you've then got issues with people in high places driving things that are highly lucrative like trafficking. Cambodian police have been known to have little regard for procedure and have gained a reputation for brutality, venality and sometimes corruption. Robert Statton, now partnering with Raw Impact, is working to retrain police in Cambodia. Our role is uh, to develop a training centre where my contacts in the US, we bring teams of uh, experts here to Cambodia and we provide specialised training. With this approach, the number of children trafficked may just be reduced. But until then, so much innocence is tainted and the threat to many children's freedom remains. I'm